Good morning, everybody. Um, today is Tuesday, March 22nd, 2016, which means it's surgery day. I am on my way to the hospital. Um, I wanted to stop and, and do this real quick. My husband's hungry, so we stopped at um, Burger King. He ran inside and is gonna sit down and eat his breakfast. That's how kind he is. He's not gonna eat here in the car with me. So um, just wanted to come on and and let you guys know kind of what my plan for this this video is while I'm in there um, I'm not gonna post this today what I'm gonna do is do several different video clips along the way and then I'll get together get them together and post them all in one one video that kind of shows you a little bit of everything some pictures some videos mixed in and then that way I'm not posting 10 different little video snippets but just one longer video so um, it is 9 50 in the morning I've got to be at the hospital at 10 45 we're about maybe not even a half an hour away at this point so uh, we got plenty of time it's a beautiful day it's about 50 degrees already so it's gonna be a be a beautiful day I feel really good I'm really excited I'm not the least bit nervous I thought I would have the, the morning stomach cramps diarrhea butterflies in my stomach all that crap I thought I'd have all that but I I don't um, I slept good last night um, my husband wasn't home when I went to bed and he worked late so he came home I don't know what time it was sometime probably midnight or after um, I went right back to sleep but then my dog started barking at about three o'clock and I couldn't get back to sleep after that but it wasn't so much that I was worrying it was just I wanted to get up get my shower and do this and do that so I wound up getting up at about five and um, watched a movie and just chilled out on the couch for a little bit and got my son off to school then got my shower got everything ready so yeah I'm doing really really good really super excited and I'll keep you guys keep you guys posted um, have a great day and I'll see you soon hey everybody just sitting here with my husband Jeremy IVs all hooked up and medicines are started fluids are started uh, waiting on the surgeon and the anesthesiologist to, the anesthesiologist to come in any minute now and then surgery is scheduled for 10 till 1 and it is 12 15 now so won't be much longer I'll give you guys another update um, later on this afternoon see ya hey guys just wanted to give a quick up quick update um, surgery went really well um, it's about 20 after 9 now. My surgery was at about, it took me back about 1.30 or so. So um, my husband just went home. My best friend came in and visited for a couple hours and we've been up and walking and they say here at the hospital that I'm a, I'm a rock star. So apparently I'm doing well. I don't have a whole lot of pain or discomfort. Um, just getting from, uh, actually the sitting down after walking, that's been the most painful, going to the sitting down to go to the bathroom, but other than that, everything is good. Um, they gave me this handy dandy water bottle so that I can keep track of how much water I'm getting and then the spirometer thing to do my breathing exercises. But um, other than that, I'm just, I'm tired. I think I'm getting ready to, to try to hit the hay for a little bit. Um, got my compression sock thing, compression, leg thing they're gonna bring me some compression socks here in just a minute but other than that that's it that's all i got for you guys i'll check in again tomorrow have a good night bye bye hey youtube uh, hi sleevers just wanted to hop on with a quick update i am now on the the losers bench officially um post op by about six hours or so um doing really well been up and walking around drinking some water um, my husband just left to go home to take care of our son but he'll be back tomorrow after he drops him off at school 
and then my best friend came to visit um, and that's always a, a blessing she was here for a couple hours and really was a huge help while she was here so um, I I'll go through kind of a quick rundown of what happened and um, then I'll end it for today um, I got here about about 10 minutes early um, went to the registration desk they gave us a pager um, pager went off came up they came out and got us took us back to a prep room where I had to change clothes put on the hospital gown um, they did the IV took them four tries because my veins are so small anyway and then not having anything to drink for the whole time all night since midnight last night um, didn't help either but they got it wound up having to be in my right hand I'm right-handed so it's a little inconvenient but it's, it's whatever no big deal um, so I did that then I got a shot for preventing blood clots and a pill underneath the underneath my tongue and that was for I don't remember what that one was for. I'm a little foggy. My head's still just kind of... Um, but if I remember what that was for, I'll let you know. But I don't remember for sure. Anyway. Um, so we did that. And then the anesthesiologist came in, asked a bunch of questions that I've already answered a hundred times. And then the surgeon came in. Um, I asked him for pictures for my surgery. And um he gave them, got gave them to my husband afterwards. They're laying over, over there. Or I'd go get them for you, but um, so did that. Then they came and got me and took me into the operating room. I remember going in. I remember them laying me out and putting my arms out on the table and attaching, you know, tying my arms to the to the thing so they don't slide off. And then I remember waking up very, very, very groggy, very 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 groggy they kept telling me they were trying to take my temperature and she's like we need it under your tongue honey we need it under your tongue and I, I couldn't do anything I was I was in a fog and I, was, I thought I wanted to tell her you just, just stick it where you need it and take a temperature but um, everybody here has been really really wonderful very accommodating so um, can't complain it's a beautiful hospital super clean um, I said drinking my water, doing the spirograph thing, this little thing here. And drinking my water. So, um, other than that, I got the, the leg things. Hope you guys can see that. I can't see what you can see, so I hope you can see that. But she went downstairs to get some compression stockings that I've got to wear. So, I'll check in again soon. Bye, guys guys I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update um, I took a little little nap um, actually it's bedtime so I'm gonna go probably go back to bed but um, got up to go to the bathroom so um, my throat's really dry really kind of sore like everybody else says it's no big no big deal though drink some water in it it helps um, Right now, most of my pain is in my right side, which was odd because I assumed it would be in the left side where he took the stomach out, but it's more more in the right side, and that may be some gas pain. Um, if it is, the pain is down here, not up up here. It's, it's down here, and um, I really only feel it really bad when I um, sit down. Standing up hurts a little bit, but sitting down is even worse. Um, haven't had anything but water. Some uh, tomorrow, I, I think, will be when they start the um, the brothy kind of stuff. Um, I'm trying to do my my breathing tr test thing there. Um, I've walked a couple laps around the around the unit here. I can make it around the whole whole thing just fine, no issues. Um, I should probably go do another lap, but I'm, I really just want to go to sleep. It's 11.30 at night, so I'm probably just going to go to sleep, and then tomorrow I'll walk, 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 walk. So that's 
that's how I'm doing. Um, I still think I'm doing really well, considering. I mean, considering what I just had had a doctor do to me. So I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye bye. Good morning, you guys. Um, I am officially day one post-op. Um, it's about eight o'clock in the morning here. Uh, last night was kind of rough. Um, nausea was pretty bad, so they kept me on nausea meds the whole night. Um, didn't really get to drink a whole lot because of the nausea. Um, there was one time where it did evolve into trying to dry heave, but after that, I felt I felt better. And it's like after you throw up, you feel better. Well, there was nothing to throw up, so. Um, but after that bout, um, I was okay. Uh, it hurt a little bit, obviously, with the incisions, but it wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, so my goal now, I'm already off IV fluids today, so I've got to get my water. And I think I've had about eight ounces so far um, since since surgery up to now. So that was overnight. Um, been up and walking. Um, and that's going well. It's not too bad. Um, too bad walking. Waiting on my husband to get here. I'm supposed to do my swallow test here in about an hour. And then we'll go from there. Um, most of the discomfort right now, I guess, is probably gas pains. Um, if it is, it's all still down like here around the incision area it's not up here in my shoulders or anything not yet um, so I'm having a hard time differentiating when I take a drink of water if there's pain if it's from my stomach or if it's from the gas a mixture of the two um, I have been able to burp and that that helps so when I get that feeling I feel like it's inflated but I'm not sure if it's in my stomach outside my stomach if I should burp I'm afraid if I burp that I'll start to throw up. So it's kind of a battle just learning what the different sensations mean. Um, I know my stomach rumbles and it feels like it's growling, but I think it's just the gas running around on the outside of my stomach making it move and do funny things. So um, really just trying to listen and be in tune with what my body's trying to trying to tell me. Um, Still got my compression things on my legs here, but when I'm up and moving, I don't have to wear them, so I'm just trying to just stay up so I don't have to keep plugging, plugging them in and unplugging them and plugging them in and unplugging them, and that's getting frustrating. Um, the hospital's been great. The staff's been great. Um, they, you know, they do, of course, come in at all hours of the night, but they're very quick, very silent, like little ninjas running in and out, so... Um, I did get to sleep quite a bit. Um, I'm really, my mouth is really, really dry. I mean, even though I am drinking water, it's still like, mm, bleh. I'm getting ready to brush my teeth. I think that'll help with that. Um, that's really all I've got for you right now. It's just waiting on them to come in and do that god awful swallow test. I hope that doesn't make me puke. Mm. I'm not looking forward to it, but that's next step to going home so that and they want me to pass gas which being up and moving I think will help with that I know I've been burping a ton so just needed to try to go the other way now I know TMI I'm sorry um that's really all I've got for you guys right now I'm sorry I look like hell I haven't brushed my hair who want why bother at this point um, so I'll update you guys later and then I'll try to if I feel up to it, I'll try to splice all these together and post them as one so you guys can um, can watch this little series that I made for you. So, good luck to anyone out there that's sleeping today or upcoming. Um, it is no joke. I it didn't really take it as a joke coming in, but listen to what the people are telling you. It is going to hurt. It is hard. Um, get your water and you know, do all those things that you know you need to do. But, other than that, that's all I've got for you guys. So I'll stop rambling now. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Sorry about the messy, messy, messy hair here, but it's super windy today. So we got rain moving in. But I wanted to let you know that I'm up. I'm walking. I'm outside. Um, I'm going to be
be honest with you, I really didn't want to get up, but now that I am up and I'm dressed, sort of, um, I do feel better. Uh, I just wanted to really lay around and I know that that's sorry, the worst thing that you can possibly do. So um, I'm up and I'm walking around my little circle down here at my street. Um, breathing is kind of hard just because the incisions are so tight, but that's the part, whole point of walking is to get used to that feeling. So, It was really, really bad. The nausea was awful. I was vomiting a little bit. At least what I had in my stomach, which wasn't much. Um, so that was hard. That really hurts the incisions. Got that under control without any extra medication. I do have some more anti-nausea stuff now, but I haven't taken it. I'm feeling pretty, pretty good without it. So um, I haven't weighed myself. Probably won't for a few more days just because I know you gain in the hospital and I don't want to step on that scale and see a gain after everything that I've been through. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. I just want to let you guys know that I'm still alive and I will catch up with you guys again soon. Bye.